happy Sabbath to everybody out there. Hopefully you're enjoying Sabbath. Hopefully you found Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Through over the years, we've been given the society version of, of him. You know, the everyone knows that version, the white man with the beard and the blue eyes. And The reason there's no description of God is because it's actually irrelevant on what, what he looks like. Because it, God doesn't want you to focus on the physical, the body. He wants you to focus on your soul, on on getting your soul saved. Let me actually let me let me back up. He wants you to focus on him and his glory. Because he came here as a man to save us from our sins. He died for our sins. And he didn't come here for us to uh, basically say, Oh look he's white, no, look, he's black, oh, look, he, I mean, we, we hear you, he was Jewish, is that, what, what, right, is that what the Bible says, Jewish, I don't know, I mean, I, I thought I read somewhere where he had black wavy hair, but that's what I'm saying, it's really irrelevant, the whole point is that God loves all races equally, there's, that, and it doesn't matter what he looked like, is God. He came, he died, he rose from the grave, and he got the keys to the kingdom. The keys to death, and the keys to hell, and the keys to heaven. And he reclaimed everything out of his love for mankind. And I don't think there's anything wrong with good looks. Don't give the devil the credit though we're, you know, we think it belongs to him. No, you know, that's not what it's about. The point is, is you don't want to get stuck up, conceited, basically, you know, self-worship. We are all the same in one degree. Part of the human race. Uh, and, um... Some people are better looking. Some people aren't. Some people are really good looking and they're ugly inside and some people are ugly outside but they're beautiful inside and makes them look beautiful on the outside because they're beautiful inside and ugly is actually a and beautiful for that matter is actually a, in the eyes of the beholder you know my taste might not be your taste your taste might not be my taste I never except when I was maybe 10 or 11 I never really had like a Attraction to the beach girl blonde, that kind of girl, you know, that kind of, you know, woman. When I was 10, there was a girl down the street, Diche, and a lot of us liked her. But And then, and then again, when I was about 11, 12, there was this one girl in school that we all liked. She looked like, uh, what's her name? Um, Private Benjamin, that, uh, Goldie Hawn. But it's about being beautiful on the inside. And if you take care of your body, which is hard to do with all the different stuff that we in the feeds, but if you take care of your body, anyways, let your line shine for, for Jesus. You know, repent, go out and preach the gospel, go out and tell people about God, help people get saved. And it might not be a one-day thing, you might have to work with somebody for a while and, and just be there for them as a, as a, as a friend, as a as a brother or as a Christian, a, a Christian, as a brother or as a sister in Christ, um, I, I church bounce and I notice I, I church bounce in the '90s and I church bounce now and I notice a big difference in the churches. I notice they're more watered down than ever. They sing more than they preach. I notice they also do it. Every church now does a thing where you go around shaking everyone's hand. They go, "Okay, now I'll say hi to your neighbor." And then you're supposed to go to the church and shake, but it's forced. It's it's not sincere um, uh, I noticed uh, it's really watered down and I noticed there's a lot less people and the Bible does say without the Bible says that the devil the Antichrist the end of times the tribulation all that cannot happen until there's a falling away first and when he says falling away first he means the church people that aren't saved have already fallen away. 
but people in the church, when they fall away, they lose interest in God.